Hey and welcome to this mini series about the teleprompter app IQ. If this is the first video that you're watching, make sure to check out the whole playlist with all the videos. It's linked up on the top right corner. Okay, let's go to the next tab, remote. And this is really neat because you can connect any remote to this guy and I love it. So either you download the free remote app from IQ and then you can link it to the iPad or the iPhone that you are running the teleprompter app. Or you have a Bluetooth keyboard. It doesn't need to be from Apple, um, but you can connect it through the keyboard and then you can set, and then you can set, click on it and say, okay, the play button is this key. So you can specify which keys do what. So this is very customizable, customizable. I don't know if that's a word, but yeah, this is pretty neat. I love this function. Uh, the next one is a touch tone remote. I don't know this guy, but this must be some hardware that is out there. Um, with the new iPhone seven, you can't plug in these uh, earphones anymore, but they are uh, connected through Bluetooth to my understanding. Um, I have the iPhone uh, 5 and you can still plug it in and you can use your Apple headphones as a remote as well. And you can check out the video that I did on the top corner here where I'm talking about extending your headphones so you can be further away with the headphones to, to remote control the app here. Next one is AirTurn, another piece of hardware that you can plug in here. Web server, I have no idea how to make that one work, but if you're familiar with it, hey, let's jump in here. You can kind of plug it in, I have no idea. And MIDI tooth or Bluetooth MIDI, another functionality that I can test for you, but if you're familiar with this, you can somehow make it work as well, which is quite cool. That's the end for this video, but the series continues. So just click on the next video about this app. And more importantly, click on the box that's appearing magically right now to get my free tutorial on how I write my scripts on the computer and how I transfer them to this app. If you like the app, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any other app recommendation or if you found out anything else about this app, please comment. I'm always happy to hear from you. Take care and see you the next time.